Well, it was meant to be temporary, really. It's now become the norm. And in fact, a new report from the career website Ladder says one in four high paying jobs in America will be remote by the end of next year. But working from home, it can also lead to a whole lot of burnout. So joining us tonight is recruitment expert Jason Wachtel of the firm J.W. Michaels. Jason, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, so let's jump in and talk about it because we really did think this was just going to be a temporary thing that we got through. But working from home is here to stay. And a lot of people that really struggle with the work life balance because they are always plugged in. So how can they better manage their time? Well, you're right. I mean, when 2020 in March, when we all went remote, we thought this was the most exciting thing. No more commuting. Um, you can wear sweatpants all day and just a great all around. But now that it's been two years and most people in New York are still working remote or some hybrid schedule, um, wearing your sweatpants, not seeing other people and eating the same lunch every day gets a little bit overwhelming. Not to mention without commuting, you're now working much earlier and working later. So yes, this is here to stay. And also you people have to adjust their daily habits. Otherwise, it, you're, the burnout is real is real right now. So we've heard, you know, a couple of provisions since this whole working from home thing started in terms of employers actually extending payment for the different um, utilities that are expended as these as their employers work from home. Um, but what else can employers do to really improve the working from home experience? Well, the first thing is, I think employers, bosses, managers have to realize that whether it's six o'clock on a Wednesday, fr Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, or when people are on vacation, you have to cut off communication. You can't have people on call 24 seven because people, as you mentioned, are getting burnt out. So the first thing is when the day's over at six o'clock, unless it's absolutely pressing, you really need, can't be reaching out to that employee until the next day. Weekends, same thing, let the people enjoy their weekends. And on vacation, absolutely do not reach out to your employees unless it is an absolute emergency. Uh, some of the things we've done at JW Michaels, we've done online training, we've had organizers, we've done out stuff outside of work so people can sort of help get their lives organized, not just for work, but their personal lives as well. You know, it's interesting. I have met one or two people that have taken jobs, took jobs during the pandemic and really have never, never met anybody they're working with except on Zoom. So a lot of people are going to be doing that, I assume, moving forward until they can go back into the workplace. What does somebody take into consideration or consider before taking another remote job? Well, what we've seen at JW Michaels, a lot of jobs are, are really more hybrid in the New York metropolitan area. Um, but it's really important if you're a new employee, a junior employee with not much experience, that fully hybrid, uh, excuse me, that fully remote model is a little challenging because how are you going to learn the business really great from the ground floor up working remotely? How are you going to build those relationships with your manager, with the bosses, if you're working remotely constantly? So it, it is a challenge, but I, I think what we're seeing most of our clients in the New York metropolitan area, they're incorporating some kind of hybrid schedule, which allows the junior people to get really get trained up. And the senior folks, you know, they don't want to be commuting an hour and a half, two hours each way. It's sort of best of both worlds. This hybrid schedule remote is a little bit challenging when it's 24 7 uh you know five days a week yeah really both parties just mm -hmm. need to at this point get with the times uh, jason yes. wachtel from jw michaels recruiting firm thank you so much for your insights and being with us today uh, thank you for having me